Okay, I think I found something to feeding log. Fourth day, month of wind, assorted human remains, strong appetite. Tenth day, bag of Tivian pears, tin of potted whale meat, no feeding, aggression increased, incident, cannibal. What the hell is that? This is going to go poorly, guys. I can feel it. We're going to get all the keys. Let's unlock that door and open it. Hey, rats. No, 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 no. We're supposed to be buddies. I want the swarm. Yeah, you guys better get out of here. Damn it. You guys are annoying. That kind of makes sense. Feeding the rats. I'm a dumbass. Okay, I've not really seen anything in here of use, though, is the sad part. So that was kind of a waste, I think. Ooh, medicinal herbs. Uh, but looks like nothing else. So. I know I should have probably looked at the keyhole, but that would be too easy. I'll see you guys as I get farther in. Oh, I see. For possession, I can... That's what the places I can send rats through. Maybe I'll do possession after I do, um... I like the swarm idea. I really... But then I like the shat, the ash death. So there's so much. So much to do, guys. I think it's upstairs. Rats Viscera is 30 meters up. So let's go do this. Let's go take care of the bad guys. Wait. Did you touch the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah. Hey, what's going on there? Help! Uh, uh, I need help! Just help. Uh, uh, please help me! I'm sorry, lady. I didn't mean to make you run. All right, this is obviously someone's bedroom. No sleeping on the beds, though. So this is not Fallout. Pocket watch. Dr. Galvani's journal. I've been invited to a soiree at the Boyle Estate. Of course I won't attend. The 28th day of the seventh month, the month of high cold, is the day I met Anton Sokolov at the Academy. Why would I tarnish the anniversary of the most important day of my life by licking aristocratic boots? I have no time for fools. I'll be solving the riddle of this plague. Perhaps I'll raise a cup of Tivian Red. Alright, so what do we got going on over here? Nothing, nothing, nothing. I'm seeing nothing, guys. Well, that's not true. Sleep darts. Found more sleep darts. I should actually probably use the sleep darts now that I got five of them because if I remember right, they're one shot knockouts. Ah. Weird machines everywhere. Weird busts. I disapprove of that bust, but that didn't work. Let's open this unbreakable door and see what is in here. We'll shut the unbreakable door. I love how they're unbreakable doors, but they're glass. Don't mind that. Doesn't matter if they're glass. Oh, hey, something. I think there's something over here. <laughs> I'm just raiding everything. I'm just zipping around here. Oh, cool. See, that is so good that you don't have to really guess. Thank you for the hundred inga each things. I think that's it for this room. Oh, wait. Cranker Mouth Golf Map. There we go. Oh, I guess it's worth, just worth money. I forget that they just convert this all, all this stuff to money. Okay, we're still seeing nothing much. Nothing much. I'm sure I'm missing little things with the color blindness, but still not too bad, I don't think. All right, here we go. We're, we're in the room of the rat by Sarah, Visera. All right, looking around. Obviously drawn something flowery. Vaguely flowery, maybe the, maybe something else. All right, what is this? Galvani, the latest case should arrive within a week, containing all the components you need. Be careful with white phosphorus. Can't have you getting fossy jaw like the tanners at the edge of the city, poor bastards. 
Sorry you have to practice in secret. The vivisectionist should be celebrated, revered even. Cutting up rats should be done in town square with a crowd of eager students taking notes, not in some dirty little secret room hidden behind a wall of books. Anyways, lucky for you to have an old friend who never left the academy. Let me know what else you need, but remember, it might be a month before I can put it another shipment together. Yours in knowledge, Artemis Moore. Procurement clerk and provisioner. P.S. Next time you're nearby, come in for an afternoon. We stayed fairly insulated from the plague since so few come and go. And we've got quite a stack of Tivian and brandy. Alright, so, obviously, it's behind a wall of books. Obviously, the fake book. And we're going to get ourselves some rat viscera. His secret room. Let's read his stuff first. Sewer capacity in the month of nets. Exurbited interview attached to a formal report by City Works Crew 17A. I've been asked to tell the problem, so here it is. It's been every year that we work like men gone mad during the month of nets. I don't hardly see my family. It's bad enough that the work is clogged with trash from the catch, pieces of crates and nets, but the water smells of hagfish guts too. We get it done before the month of rain or you know what. It ain't like we get help from those pricks in civil engineering either. Been at this job for nigh on 28 years and never seen one of them come below except a measure will it hold when they go putting up one of their fancy new bridges. So let those, so these last three years have been the worst, and here's why. It's the river crusts moved into the works. We hear a man ahead yelling, screaming he's, like he's burning up. We all climb up fast, no other choice. Is that it? Okay, that, oh, whoa. So we got a lot of spiritual stuff, but I don't go through my spiritual stuff that, oh, money, money, money. All right, rap Sarah. Let's do it. Search for a sample of infected rat viscera. We have it. The next one, contaminate the, battle, the Bottle Street Gang's bootleg elixir with the plague. All right, so this is good. Let's check out. I'll be right back as I check out the rest of the place. Oh, wait. We have an audiograph player. Obviously, the plague rat is distinct from the ordinary rat. But in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence, although the experiments there are not complete. Coriander Zoological Survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power. Mwahaha, <laughs> foreign power? Stay hidden forever. Hey you. I'll flush you out. For law. Here you uh. Someone help. <laughs> <me>. <laughs> Wah! Oh, I'm sorry. Did I kill you? Why do you have nothing on you of value? You are killing me, guys. I need stuff. All right. Let's head down to the distillery district. We'll be right back. All right. We are outside. Let us switch to, well, we need that, I guess. Um, how far is everything? So, 78 meters. We should actually go collect that rune. Bone charms. Okay. I'm thinking. Bone charm, uh, rune's 112, rune 79. Let's go for the 79. Oh, wrong one. Damn it. I always do that. That was not what I meant to do. That was, that was my bad. That was totally my bad, guys. Well, is it on? What's it look like? Blow off, Hayburn. Go on. Toss the damn rat already. <laughs> Never gets old. Hey, what's going on there? Your fish bait now. What I have just learned was you cannot teleport through the light, whatever it is, field. So we're not going to do that again. I thought maybe you could teleport through. You just couldn't.
Damn, there are dead people everywhere. Ooh, timeless children's rhymes. Excerpt from a set of cautionary tales for children. They say that Jimmy Whitcomb Riley was a brawler his mates called Smiley. He ran around up and down town, pulling off every kind of crimey. On Bottle Street, he hung with the boys, throwing bricks and bottles and other toys. They'd start a fight and then run and hide, breaking, laughing far and wide. Smiley liked to eat and drink all day and smash and bash the night away. Drunk and all alone, he drifted off asleep and sitting on a bridge along came John Claver Clovering. When he woke, something strange he found, stranger than a singing wolfhound. He'd become a blue-jawed hagfish, most slimy, and only remembered his name was Smiley. They say that Jimmy Whitcomb Riley was never seen again for all of timey, but he swam around up and down, drinking from the river, crying, why me? Okay. Thank you, guys. Or nothing. Ooh, hey, do you have anything on you? No loot? God damn it. Um, hemlock essence. Ooh, some more potted whale meat. Mother's journal. Eighth entry. It's the fourth day of the month of rain. Morris is sick and sore the children. I've avoided it thus far, which is good fortune since it has fallen to me to care for them. Ninth entry. The city watch comes and goes, knocking on doors and asking for signs of plague. Even our neighbors cannot be trusted. Earlier it was difficult to keep the children quiet. Now they sleep most of the time. Tenth entry. The flies have set in. I try to keep them away, but I can barely get close. They sting so. Most of the time Morris won't answer me when I try to talk to him from across the room. Eleventh entry. Morris is gone. I don't know what I'll do. For now, all my hope is reserved for the children. Leaving the flat for a while near dawn, I found some plague boys from the guard booth while no one was around. It took a while, but I got Morris into one of the bags. At least his face is covered. Twelfth entry. Young Robert has passed. The star of my sky is gone. Page missing. Seventeenth entry. Elise stopped breathing in the middle of the night. She was such a headstrong girl, I can hardly believe she was overcome. She was always near as I cut up hagfish or vegetables, arguing with me about everything. 18th entry. It's the fourth day of the month of wind. It is settled in that they are lost to me, all of them. I cannot bring myself to call the dead counter. 19th entry. I have a fever now. No guards come near anymore. Oh, hon. I am so sorry. Who's trapped? That's not going to be worth anything, is it? Oh, it is worth something. Okay. I heard someone say they're trapped. Where? Hey. There? I can't tell. Okay, I... Okay, we're going to go over here. Cannot be open this time. Okay, so let's. Let me out. Oh, it must be there. Must be there. Let us see. I'm trapped. <laughs> Somebody get over here. <laughs> Please. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I like the sleep poison. I like him, guys. Can I, dude? I see it I'm on trapped. your hip. Hey. Anyone there? Hey. I am here. Where do I need to go? Dude, I don't know how to get in there. Wait. Wait. Anyone there? I'm trapped. Um, I'm not thinking I can do anything for this guy. I don't know how to get in there. Hey! Can I break that light? Nope. Let me out. I'm trapped. Let me out. Okay, guys, we're going to try to stealth in. It's kind of my goal. I am not really good at this stuff, but we'll see. We'll see how it works. That guy down? Ain't he just a boss? Like Slackjaw? 
Huh, that's interesting. You know what? I'm gonna go crazy and drink one of my mana. I think I'm just gonna sneak around. I never even considered that. I'm so used to my style is fight, fight, fight that. When you're this handsome, then you better get all your shit together. Huh? All right, we're gonna teleport right in. I run the still like I run a game of Nancy. Yeah. There we go. See? Sometimes lucky does okay. What are these? Nothing of value? And this is where we get the endless crawling. Endless crawling. Hey, it's the elixir still. Oh, no master key. So what is the master? Where can I find this? Ooh, that's a trap of some sort. Trigger it. But do I want to trigger it? Ah, oh, damn it. I thought I was covered. Ooh. All right, here we go. One. Where'd you run up? Somebody, get over. Ah. This is. Come on, kick in it. Let's get this guy. Go down. <laughs> Okay, so we, we kind of got rid of the stealth, guys, is what happened. I apologize for that. I'm just not good at this. That is not my thing in the world. Only, really? How many, how come you guys don't carry anything? That's kind of like the most frustrating thing, is you're not carrying anything. All right, let's take a look. We'll put the normal arrows in. There we go. So it's up there I want to go. So is there anything... The bone charm saw something. Oh, wait. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, there we go. I see it, guys. Um, there we go. Let's grab it. Nice. Let's equip that bad boy. Bone charms. <laughs> you know, it's always good to have more bone charms. Um, blast resistance fire water. Um, White Rat's Friends. Gutter Feast. I'm thinking... Delicate Touch. Voyeur. Good Lungs. River Affinity. So, ooh. We'll go with that for right now. Wait, I can't activate that one? What? Why can't I? Oh, I already have six activated. Then why do I worry about... Oh, it added one. I see. That's what it added. A twist of fortune. Okay. So we're good then. Let's go do the brewery thing. I kind of got distracted. That's kind of how it works. So elixir still. We'll go take care of this right now. Okay, I found a distillery master key. I don't know if I need this. Let's go see if we can get in without going through whatever that door is. So I'll be right back. All right, here we are. It worked. Good. I was kind of a moron there for a second. Let us... Oh, the bootleg still instructions. Attach an empty elixir valve to the spout before you turn the thing on. Turn the valve on. Collect a full vial. Repeat until empty. Do not break files, do not spill an elixir, no free swigs. Alright, so, spring, ooh, hey, spring razor. Health elixir. Ooh, carry. Use. Ooh, not yet. Because maybe... There we go. Let's create a bootleg elixir. Let's let's see what we can create here. Cause I don't even know what these are. Ooh, ooh, the health elixirs. Yeah, do we have any more? Before we poison this bad boy, what else can we do? Is there any more vials? Any more any more vials, guys? Come on. Ooh, elixir counts. 
Don't need to worry about that. Come on, there's got to be another vial or two. No, okay, so... Okay, so it won't work. I was hoping that, like, I could do random... There's no more elixir vials, is there? Hold on, let me check everywhere else. 